We are now ready to try dividing a, mon a polynomial by a monomial using long division. We put the 3x squared out front, and we're going to divide into the polynomial 3x to the 5th plus 18x to the 4th minus 9x cubed. As we do, we follow the same steps as long division, which start by dividing the front numbers, or front terms, 3x to the 5th by the 3x squared. I find it is often helpful to write the division to the side as we are getting started, to help us see that this reduces to simply x cubed. Next, we multiply this x cubed by the divisor to get 3x to the 5th. Our third step is to change the sign on that 3x to the 5th and combine to get 0. We can now bring down the next term, 18x to the 4th, and repeat the process. Now we're going to divide the 18x to the 4th by the 3x squared, and we can see this will reduce to 6x squared. Again, we will multiply this by the divisor to get 18x to the 4th. We change the sign and combine to get 0, so we can bring down the next term, negative 9x cubed. Again, we repeat the process, so we can take the negative 9x cubed and divide by the 3x squared. When we do, this will simplify to negative 3x. Again, we multiply the negative 3x by the 3x squared to get negative 9x cubed. Again, we will change the sign, this time the negative becoming positive, so when they combine, we get 0. With nothing left, this problem is done. Let's try another example, so we can see this long division by a monomial one more time. In this problem, we're dividing 5a to the 4th into the polynomial 15a to the 6th minus 25a to the 5th plus 5a to the 4th. Again, we will start dividing our front term, 15a to the 4th, or sorry, 15a to the 6th by 5a to the 4th. That will reduce to 3a squared. Again, if you're not sure, feel free to show your division off to the side. We can now multiply 3a squared times 5a to the 4th to get 15a to the 6th. Changing the sign so we can combine to get 0. Bringing down the next term will be 25a to the 5th, which we can now repeat by dividing by 5a to the 4th. This will reduce to negative 5a. Multiplying negative 5a times 5a to the 4th will be negative 25a to the 5th. Again, before we combine, we must change the sign, making it positive 25a to the 5th, which will give us 0. Finally, bring down the last term, 5a to the 4th, and repeat the process one last time. Dividing 5a to the 4th by 5a to the 4th will give us positive 1. Multiplying that 1 by 5a to the 4th, changing the sign, and combining gives us 0. With nothing left to bring down, we get our final answer of 3a squared minus 5a plus 1. Doing long division with polynomials is very similar to how we did long division with numbers. Divide the front terms, multiply by the divisor, change the sign, bring down the next term, and repeat.